All right, this is a comparison on how much uh, energy is being lost by having a high tension uh, spring inside the Novatech. Well, this is a, no a, a Novatech hub, but this is a Powerway hub, which is the same design as the Chosen hub. Essentially, um, similar three pole design rims, uh, free hub bodies. So anyway, so. Obviously, when I first purchased this rim, I noticed that a lot of these carbon rims have a loud uh, free hub, and at the same time, this loud free hub adds friction to the spinning. So let me power this up, and I'll show you exactly what happens. Okay, so the as you noticed, it seemed like a, a lot of resistance was coming from the loud ratcheting of the inner poles. So what you want to do is you want to open up the assembly, the free hub assembly, which this requires uh, hex two hex wrenches, one on the other side of the wheel. So you, you insert them in, and then you, ro each, you each rotate them counterclockwise. So the left hand and the right hand both rotate counterclockwise. Boom. And that should loosen up the cap on the cassette side. And so here is the, the cap. Let's just set that down. And then the free hub actually just comes right out. And this is the pawling, the ratcheting mechanism. And so what I'm trying to do is to see what the differences are with uh, maybe detensioning the spring so that um, you'll, I'll get more rolling performance with uh, the pawls. So, let's first go ahead and take a look at what we have here. There you go, there's some better light. Alright, so, how this works. There is simply a C-clip, if you imagine a C-clip or a wire that wraps around almost 90% of, actually 96% of this entire little rim. So if you see right here, uh, let me get a, uh, something I pointed out. So here is the metal wire. And it is essentially just a tension piece of wire that wraps around this entire little mechanism. And these are the poles themselves. So the poles work by when they engage, they ratchet right here. And then the spring keeps the the tension of the pole from coming out too far and then slapping back down. Now as you can see here, there's an empty space here so that this hub can actually accommodate six poles. But what I notice is that there's actually nothing in here that's holding down the pole, the pole itself. So these poles are just a piece of metal that are being secured by this spring. And so what I'm going to show you is that by lifting up the spring to get off the guide track. Let me move this closer. Okay, so I am currently lifting up the spring and out comes a pole. So let me show you once more. So the spring comes up. I don't know if you can see it, but the spring is currently off this little rim and now I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the rim. So as you can see the spring starts from here, wraps all the way around and comes right back here. And now I'm going to show you the performance of using two poles which might seem a little dangerous since you don't have even distribution of force. You have one, two and then you have an empty pole. But let me just show you 
the effects of removing just one pole has on the rolling resistance on the free rolling resistance on the wheel. So here we go. Now, not only is it quieter, but it still has that same amount of tension. But you're also gaining additional rolling resist, uh, reducing the rolling resistance that the poles are engaging with the actual teeth on the inside the free hub. So this translates into fewer pedal strokes in order to in order to achieve better um, rolling performance with the 50 millimeter carbon clincher wheel. Um, another thing that I've been thinking about doing was simply to just leave all three of the poles inside. So I would put the pole back into this hub. But instead, I would reduce the tension on this metal wire. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is um, bending just a little bit on the, the wire itself so that these poles don't have to ratchet as hard. And essentially, I'll achieve better rolling performance without, and also quite the, the free hub. So anyway, this is just a consideration that I've been thinking about doing. I actually heard about this from a guy named Felix Wong and he actually did this he, he actually quieted his, his free hub by doing the same thing that I was planning on doing which is reducing the tension of the spring and removing a pawl and the reason why he removed a pawl was that um, there's an article that says Mavic hubs only use two teeth to engage their free hub so why if Mavic can run two um run a free hub with just two poles, then why can't this one? So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. I know it's could be dangerous. Uh free hubs can fail if there isn't enough tension in the spring. And there was a famous um writer in the I think the Giro Italia where one of the bike mechanics uh, detentioned one of the or removed three poles of the six poles leading to a seizure of the rear wheel and causing a huge bike accident so let me know what you think um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot but I don't know yeah let me know what you think thanks bye